Today we learned that the Orlando Magic basketball team has donated $50,000 to the Super PAC that supports Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' 2024 presidential bid. And shocker, that has sparked outrage among some players and pundits and others. The donation to the DeSantis Super PAC never backed down. It was made on June 26th, according to records filed with the Federal Election Committee. Alex Schultz, the politics editor for SF Gate, was the first to spot the donation. He tweeted that this is, quote, possibly the largest political donation attributed to an NBA organization. Schultz went on to say, quote, team owners dumping money on presidential candidates, especially conservatives, is not new. In this case, it's very odd that when given the opportunity, the organization is not distancing itself from the DeSantis donation. Now, this is not the team's first donation in support of a presidential candidate or a political cause. They donated 500 bucks to a Democratic House campaign, $2,000 to a right-leaning Maverick PAC USA in 2014, $500 to conservative results in 2016, and far from the first NBA team to have donated to a presidential campaign. In fact, according to a report by The Ringer in 2020, over 80 percent of political donations by NBA owners had been in support of the Republican Party. But what's odd here is the amount, the timing, and the bedfellows. I mean, the magic is sponsored by DeSantis' foe Disney. Their logo sits prominently on team jerseys. Disney and DeSantis have been in an all-out war after the company issued a statement opposing his Education Act last year, which critics call the Don't Say Gay Bill. And now there's Florida's new policy where public school teachers are required, as part of a, a much larger curriculum overhaul, to teach middle school students that slaves, quote, developed skills which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. DeSantis doubling down on his defense of the curriculum on Fox earlier today. This was done by black history scholars, most of whom were black themselves. They are not shilling for slavery. They are showing the injustice of slavery. But that particular passage wasn't saying that slavery was, was a benefit. It was saying there was resourcefulness and people acquired skills in spite of slavery, not because mm -hmm. of it. And then they use those when they, when they achieve their freedom. So you know, the team facing backlash, New Orleans Pelican star forward Larry Nance Jr. tweeting, so the Orlando Magic of a majority black roster, a black head coach, and a black GM decided it was a good idea to support a man that claims that slavery had personal benefits for the enslaved. Now, the team now appears to be caving a bit. First, they said they don't publicly comment on political contributions, only to issue another statement hours later saying to clarify this gift was given before Governor DeSantis entered the presidential rate. It was given as a Florida business in support of a Florida governor for the continued prosperity of Central Florida. They claim they sent the check on May 18th, a few days before DeSantis officially announced his presidency. But according, again, to the FEC, the donation was received on June 26th. Now, we live in a new world where businesses, including sports brands, have to be thinking about every major donation, regardless of what you think. Support DeSantis, don't support DeSantis. How could they not have seen this controversy coming? Joining me now is Robbie Suave. He's a senior editor at Reason Magazine, co-host of Rising on Hill TV. All right, so how could they not have seen this controversy coming? Yeah, I don't know, especially because it's so clear that people of all political orientations um, would like some areas of life to be politics free, including entertainment, culture, our social lives and sports. Um, and I think that's true whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. So and they, they can't really say that they were just giving this donation um, in general support of a Floridian candidate. I mean, DeSantis's main rival for the nomination, Donald Trump, is also a Florida man in, in uh, very much a sense of that, you know, residing in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, so it, this seems like it was more than a perfunctory, you know, good good for Florida. We support the Florida guy. And but, I, I do think they should have anticipated backlash, although it's within their rights, of course. Oh, yeah, sure. Donation. We're not talking legally here. No, but uh, but again, when they're when they've got the Disney logo, on their jerseys, it, it is really sort of hard to believe that at least they didn't think about it. And by the way, I said the same thing about the Bud Light controversy, right? I said, I've been saying for a long time, how could the marketing executives there have not foreseen that that would be an issue? And here it's sort of the same thing, which is, D 
did you guys not think about what might happen, particularly with a $50,000 donation? I mean, it's not just, you know, a $500 donation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.